people with dysbiosis and leaky gut, and even people that might have digestive problem digesting their food, they don't always have symptoms, right? There's a lot of my autoimmune people that when I do a stool test, it comes back and it's a mess, but they happen to have terrible dysbiosis on the stool test. And so you can't always judge how bad their condition is, their gut health is by their symptoms. So I think that's really important to remember to tell you, especially now as we're talking about enzymes, um, digestive enzymes, because people might be very symptomatic. They might have reflux. They might have gas and bloating after they eat. They might be chronically constipated. And so people like that, you would definitely want to offer a digestive enzyme for them to, to replace their enzymes, to see if that's gonna help them. Uh, people who have low enzymes on their stool tests, uh, too much fecal fat in their stool test, people who have signs of malabsorption of nutrients when you do nutrient testing, even though they're eating a really healthy diet. Those are other signs that the person uh, might need digestive enzymes. And so replacing the enzymes they might need, replacing bile acids. I mean, there's so many people that have had their gallbladder out, which I don't really quite understand. Um, well, I do understand. In conventional medicine, there's a, you know, a checklist of things that could be causing the abdominal pain and often the gallbladder gets taken out. Um, but so there are a lot of people that have no gallbladder. And so somebody without a gallbladder, I always give them a trial of uh, replacing bile acids also to see if that doesn't help their symptoms and improve the digestion and improve the microbiome. You know, bile acids are really important pruners of the garden. So no bile acids can actually predispose somebody for dysbiosis. So you wanna replace the bile acids. And finally is hypochlorhydria, low stomach acid. Another really important thing, because if somebody has chronic low stomach acid, that's going to set them up for dysbiosis because the acid, like I said before, coming out of the stomach, downstream has a really important effect on pruning the you know the overgrowth of the harmful microbes of preventing dysbiosis